In the last section, we made a little change to our Docker run file and redeployed the application. I've now sat through the redeployment and it looks like everything went through successfully and the application should now be working. Now, if you do not see health of OK right here, or if you see any other errors appearing in the log down there, one quick tip that I'll give you for debugging here, and this is where I recommend you first go to to figure out exactly what went wrong, you can click over on the logs tab on the left hand side. And then on the far right hand side, click on request logs and then last 100 lines. This will give you the last 100 lines of output from each of your containers, along with a couple other services that are used to host your application. So you can then look at the log file by clicking on that download link and you'll get a very large, rather consolidated log file. So this has logs from a bunch of different services and they're all placed in these different sections. So this is one section of logs and it contains all the logs from a ECS-init log file. Remember that when we use Elastic Beanstalk with a multi-container setup, behind the scenes it's actually using that ECS or Elastic Container Service application that we had mentioned a little bit ago. You'll also see some PHP app logs inside of here. Those are logs that are generated by the default Elastic Beanstalk application that was created when we first made our environment. And then if you go through here, you'll eventually start to see some logs from say, uh, here we go. So our container logs from the client container. Here's from the Nginx container. Here's from a Nginx proxy, which is being used to route information around our application. And here's the server logs right here as well. So again, if you have an error being displayed on the dashboard back on Elastic Beanstalk, I encourage you to take a glance at these logs, read through them somewhat deeply. Somewhere inside of here will be a message telling you exactly what went wrong. All right, so with that in mind, if the deployment went successfully, you can go back over to Elastic Beanstalk and find the URL to the application up here at the very top. So you can click on that link and it will open up our application. And so my app is hosted at multi-docker slash, excuse me, multi-docker dash env, and then some string, blah, 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 elasticbeanstock.com. I can now enter in some index of a value to calculate and then click on submit. And if I refresh the page, I'll see that index up here. Cool, so that's pretty much it. We can refresh as much as we want. We can add in some value and it'll just calculate the Fibonacci value for any given number. So that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this application, at least the deployment part. The last thing I want to show you is in the next section, I just want to go through the process of redeploying the app and making sure that we can get some updates to appear on the screen. So one last section and I'll see you in just a minute.